Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be taking a look at the update to some of the gun running DLC leaks that have come out recently. Now, I'm not going to be explaining the background of these leaks. If you want to know that, go to part one. What I will do is I'll leave a link to that in the description, and we will do a quick refresher of what we know so far. So basically, this individual has claimed that it's going to be less of like a super mercenary military DLC, and is going to be more of trafficking, survivalism, and redneck. Now he says there is going to be new military stuff like rifles and other APCs, but it's going to be more of off-roaders and weaponized vehicles like Mad Max. And he also said that PC players that obtained money through modders, that's going to be removed before gun running is out. This individual also claimed that there isn't going to be any go-karts, which was kind of a random point. He also says that it's going to require a lot of money in order to get started, but he said it will be worth the investment as there's a lot of fun stuff coming. And he also exclaims that $3 million should be enough money to purchase the bunkers or the bases to get us started. And the last point he brought up is he said the DLC will be out next week. Expect a trailer before Friday if Redditors and GTA Fers don't get their hands on these posts like they did with IW. Now, this is where I think things are a little confusing. Is he talking about a trailer next Friday and then the update coming out after that? Or was he talking about a trailer today, like on Friday, May 19th, when I'm making this video? Now, when I'm making this video, number one, Rockstar hasn't updated a trailer for gun running or anything like that. But also, number two, they announced that they're live streaming later today. And they've got like a bunch of special guests coming on. And typically when Rockstar does that, when they have like community streams, it means that they're not going to be announcing any DLC information. So I don't know if that like debunks his theory right there, but I still think that that is pretty interesting that this is happening instead of something related to gun running. I guess we're going to have to just wait till next week and see if on Friday, the day after the current event ends, if we see something like a newswire article or trailer, like this guy says regarding gun running. So those are the previous leaks that we've been looking at. And keep in mind that those are not confirmed. So this isn't something you should like ride off into the sunset saying, oh, this is going to be a 100% thing. But it is interesting given our, our previous history regarding this site and users with names like that. So we do have some updates and he has posted a couple more times on the site. So he he responded to a question that was, so is Rockstar given up on banning people for hacker bucks? And he responded with wait and see. So that seems to be a very popular thing with this guy is he's anticipating Rockstar wiping money from modders and hackers that have basically been exploiting those uh, things over the last month or so. So again, that's a pretty interesting principle right there. I don't know, maybe that does make him more legit. It kind of sounds like Rockstar getting excited to remove people's money. But moving on, let's get into some more of the gun running leaks, apparently. This is what he said. He said, yeah, no, I do not understand why all these people think they're getting some kind of futuristic high-tech vehicle from Call of Duty. The Hunter and the Squatty are both state-of-the-art and reasonable. Plus, they would be perfect for taking on your jet problem people keep complaining about. But come on, a whole aircraft carrier for all of 30 players each? What would you even do with it? What would you do with a new tank, a new jet? The most you could hope for and get right on guessing is a new place to hold customized variants of war stock vehicles that were seen in the beta teaser for the website, maybe an anti-aircraft turret, or an artillery gun you pull around your barrack, and a BF Bandito DPV that fits three people, but that most likely isn't going to happen, dot dot. I don't get it at all. You're not getting something stupidly high-tech and overpowered. The weaponized vehicles, not full-on fleets of new fighter jets. Okay, so that right there is pretty interesting. He basically just once again says that this isn't going to be a super high-tech military DLC with tons of new fighter jets, tons of new helicopters. But from what I could kind of imply from what he was stating, it looks as if we will be receiving the Hunter, which again is another like attack helicopter, and the Squatty which can be found on like the Warstock cash and carry page. It's basically like a, a Humvee, which is actually pretty cool. He once again confirms that we're not going to be getting an aircraft carrier that would be super overpowered and in some cases useless. He also says a new tank or a jet. Why would we need that? But then he also kind of hints at the fact that we could be getting a new place to hold customized variants of war stock vehicles. And what I interpret that is, is that is customized Pegasus vehicles. So if that is indeed the case, 
That could be pretty cool. He mentions an anti-aircraft turret or an artillery gun that you might have to attach to something like a barracks. That could actually be pretty awesome to defend against jets and helicopters that we know are huge problems in free mode sessions. And he follows up by saying in a BF Bandito DPV that fits three people. And he ends it with, but that most likely isn't going to happen, dot, dot, which to me leads to a little bit of mystery. Like this is the stuff he mentions is likely going to be coming. Now, if you don't know what the BF Bandito is, the BF Bandito was a vehicle in GTA San Andreas. It's kind of like a modified dune buggy, which is pretty cool. Now, DPV stands for Desert Patrol Vehicle and is exactly what the BF Bandito is. Something that would use to be to stroll around the desert really quickly, maybe go on like scouting missions or stuff like that. So that could actually be pretty cool. Um, I know a lot of people may not be interested in that. And I hope that that's like certainly not like the ultimate type of vehicle that they bring into the game. But it is interesting that this user ended up mentioning that vehicle from GTA San Andreas. But that's pretty cool. Let's move on. Another post he said was, as per weapons, most of you seem to be on the nose with the weapons the team's been keeping in the file for a bit and updated for next gen. They certainly do count as high-powered military hardware, but once again, many are taking it too far and overhyping what the next update will entail in terms of personal weapons. So that's pretty interesting. And those weapons that he's talking about are the heavy rifle, which is the SCAR, and it comes with a couple of uh, modifications too that you can see right there. You can also see the Assault MG, which is the HK-21, the Assault Sniper Rifle, which is the M110, and then the Programmable AR, which is the XM-25. So those would likely be the four new weapons, and those have been in the files since day one. Rockstar just haven't used them. We have seen them bring other hidden weapons into the game, like the wrench. So they did that with the bikers update. So that's certainly not unusual for them to just reuse stuff like that. Although I would hope that they would bring more and potentially some more exciting ones too. Uh, whether it's like the rail gun or whether it's something completely unique and different. I just feel like those have been in the game for so long at least hidden, that players may not necessarily be all that excited for them if they arrive in the game now. So that looks to be our situation in terms of weapons. And then there was one other post. Now, this is from another user, but I think the post was interesting enough for us to explore. So it was this photo right here, and the file's name was GR underscore Phil. Now, I'm imagining the GR stands for gun running and Phil, obviously the name of this character. Now, if you don't recognize that character right there, that is Phil Cassidy. Now, Phil Cassidy is a character in the GTA series. He appears in Vice City, Vice City Stories, as well as GTA 3 and Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. Now, what's very interesting about Phil Cassidy is that he is featured as a manic heavy artillery arms dealer selling the protagonist military-grade weapons such as grenades, rocket launchers, miniguns, etc. Now, Phil presents himself as a military veteran and regularly discusses his experiences. So, basically, Phil Cassidy is an ex-military guy and he would be perfect as the character that leads us through our gun running exploration process. So if you guys remember with Bikers, the guy who introduced us to like our clubhouse and got us set up to the open road, that was Malk. Malk was a character from the Lost in the Dam DLC in GTA 4. So Rockstar tends to bring back characters, or at least characters from single player, like Lamar with Lowriders, to help us get started with these business ventures. So would Phil Cassidy, that character from Vice City and other games, who was a military dealer, help us in the Gunrunning DLC? I think that would make a lot of sense, and that would actually be really cool, as he was a really funny character. He actually only has one arm, obviously from his military days, so I think that that could be pretty interesting, and I think that he would be a relatively cool character for us to have in gun running. So that right there is everything so far. Once again, all of these leaks are coming from 4chan, and again, these have not been confirmed by anyone. They are leaks, so you do need to take them with a grain of salt, and I think that's going to be everything until next week. We obviously know Rockstar, 
We know Rockstar likely isn't going to announce anything today due to the stream they're doing, and we know it's very unlikely they'll do something over the weekend. I think the only thing they've announced over the weekend was Red Dead Redemption 2, and they didn't even really announce that. They just like, you know, put out this image of like a red Rockstar logo, and I believe that was on a Sunday. So all signs are going to point to next week, and we know that the current event is ending on Thursday, May 25th. So again, I think all signs are pointing to next Friday, the 26th, for when we hopefully get new information or a trailer on this gun running update. Again, if anything significant like this does come out, though, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. So stay tuned for that. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. I will be live streaming later today on my channel, so stick around for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. But of course, without the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.